welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bonus video for you. I am sharing my favorite free patterns for spring. Yeah, let's get into it. This video is part of the sewing challenge, hashtag sewfrugal22. This is hosted by Sam from Frugalissima and Ruin from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And it is an Instagram challenge and basically it's like if you know frugal frocks, it's the same thing. We're using a free pattern and fabric from our stash to create a garment. It doesn't have to be a dress, it can be any type of garment and we are going to share those all on March 31st over on Instagram using that hashtag and there are prizes. So you want to make sure you get in on that. There are over 70 70, 70, I think it's exactly 72 contributors to this um, kind of YouTube thread that's going on and sharing these free challenges. So I'm sure you should be able to find something that piques your interest that you can use to sew up a free pattern using fabrics from your stash. You guys know I'm a fan of Whitney from Tomcat Citry and she posted her video yesterday and I mean, you gotta watch it if you haven't yet. So this kind of YouTube train kicked off on February 19th and there's two YouTubers posting every day. And my counterpart today is Go So Beautiful. This is Becky from Go So Beautiful and she's gonna be sharing pants patterns, which means I'm gonna be sharing top patterns. And I have a couple bonus dress and jumpsuit patterns at the end if you're interested in that. So I've got 10 patterns to get through, so let's just jump right in. First up on the list is one that you've probably heard of and that is the Helen's Closet Luna Tank. This is a very flared, it's almost like a circle skirt with straps top and it comes in two lengths so there's like a crop top and then a longer still pretty cropped top. If I were to make this I think I would have to lengthen it because well I don't know I think I would be more comfortable if it was lengthened but it does look really flowy, breezy, easy, fun for summer. This one is available in sizes up to a 60 inch bust, which I believe is the biggest out of all the patterns that I picked. And it uses A4 letter and A0 printing, which is great for me because I will be projecting whichever pattern I choose. Now, I have a few different fabric options for the Helen's Closet Luna Tank, if I were to go with that route. I have this red rib knit. I have made something with this in the past and I have some left over, so that would be great. I also have this boyfriend jersey from the Fabric Snob. This peach color I think would be really fun. I I think I have um, like enough to make like a long sleeve shirt though is the only thing so I would you know I'd hate to like make something small out of this and then not have enough left to make anything else do you know what I'm saying like I'd rather make something more substantial with the more yardage if that makes sense and then I, this is probably my favorite of the three this is a coral color I think it's a viscose knit I got it on Destashify yeah, it's like super easy breezy and it's like super lightweight and drapey. So I think this would potentially be the winner for the Luna Tank. Next up is the Deer and Doe Plantain Tee. This is a pattern available up to a 57 and 7 8 inch bust. Why they can do 58 inch, I don't know. I'm sure if you're 58, you could fit into it. Uh, it's kind of like more fitted in the bodice and then it flares out at the hips. This one features a three quarter length sleeve with patches on the elbow. I would probably not do the patches. And as far as three quarter length sleeve for spring, I mean, it'd be okay, but typically I'm like ready for tank tops and short sleeve t-shirts. And this one also comes in A4 letter and A0 format. I think for this, I would probably go with this peach color. Like I said, I think I have enough here to do a nice big top. So I would probably go with this fabric. The final knit pattern that I have to mention is the Itch to Stitch Lego tank. This one goes up to a 46 and a quarter inch bust. And it's more of a relaxed fit. I really like the scoop neck on it. And it's just super comfortable. It's got bands and it would be a really quick sew. This one also comes in A4 letter and A0 format. Uh, so perfect for projecting. It's a lot easier if they already have a large scale PDF to use. And I think I would go with this fabric. Now, if, you're, if you've been here a while, you've seen that I made a dress out of this fabric and I made the stripes horizontally. I thought that's how it came. That's how the listing was on FabCycle. That's how I made it. However, 
After further inspection, after a few times of wearing the dress, I realized the stripes go this way. This is the way that uh, the knit is knitted. So it goes this way. So I could use it this way or I could use it this way again, but I think this is what I would use if I choose to make the Lego tank. I, another dilemma that I mentioned already with the peach fabric is that I do have quite a bit of this left. So to make a tank top out of it, I think I would still have room to make something else. But somebody suggested pajamas and I might do the Lego tank and then another like a knit pair of pajama shorts or just regular shorts. And then that would be a really cool, like good summer pajama set and then I would still have some left over. I think I probably have like it's down to the floor. So that's like almost, it's probably like a meter and a half left of well, I guess if we go the right way. Um, yeah, it'd be like a meter and a half probably and then the full width. So I do have lots left. I made a, uh, a t-shirt dress out of this before, love that. And I cannot wait to wear it again all summer because it's just like, I love it. I just, I just love it that much. And I'm probably gonna have to be making more of those. Okay, moving on to woven fabrics now. So I have seven woven tops to show you. The first up is the Hera wrap top from Wardrobe By Me. This is obviously a wrap top. The bodice, the top of the bodice is wrapped and then it has like a cute little peplum. It's got these cap flutter sleeves. The waist is elastic so that gives like the peplum bottom. It just looks like a really cute pattern to try out. This one fits up to a 45 and a half inch chest and it's available in A4, A0 and letter format. I think I would go with this fabric that I have here for this. It's a floral. Um, it's kind of honestly, it's like a brushed cotton. I don't know if I would call it flannelette. It's, it's, but it's like borderline. It's, it's a brushed cotton, I think. And it has this really pretty light blue and then gold <laughs> floral. So the petals are light blue and then the stem in the center are gold. And I think that would be a really pretty top. I, I would definitely have enough. I might even have extra left over, but I kind of forgot I had this fabric. I purchased it at Value Village, which is a thrift store here. And I uh, had plans to start a business where I was sewing and then selling the makes, which I've done in the past, but this was gonna be specifically for adults and specifically with upcycled fabrics or dead stock fabrics. And um, while that's great in theory, I kind of, that just wasn't sitting right with me. It goes against a lot of things I believe in and like bye, bye, bye. And I couldn't be pushing that on people when I don't believe it myself. Long story short, this fabric's now for me. So uh, it does have this like kind of like Milky Way look to it across. So I think that would kind of be neat if you could incorporate that into the wrap, uh, sort of maybe like along the, the crossover or something like that. But yeah, I think that's what I would do if I were to choose the Hera wrap top. Okay, this one might be my favorite on the list. It is so beautiful. This one is called the Flora Blouse and it's available on Mood, the Mood Fabrics website or their free pattern section. And this one goes up to a 58 and a half inch bust. This is a very unique pattern. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It's a, it's a bat wing top, so it's a full bat wing where the sleeve is connected all the way out to the hem. But it has this really interesting yoke, which you could do in whatever style you want. In the inspiration pictures, they have eyelet or lace, uh, lace I guess it is, eyelet lace on top and it is so pretty. They used, they kept the scallop along the front and they just top stitched that down and it is just like, it's this white creamy ivory color and it is just so classy. It's got this button front down the center. Um, it might be slightly cropped, I can't really tell. If I were to make this, I would have to measure it out just to either not do cropped or lengthen it or whatever but I think it is so, so pretty. And I have the perfect fabrics that I have been waiting to use for something like this. So I actually have three different cuts. They're, I believe they're all the same or very, very similar pattern, but they are eyelet cottons. So this one is like a fuchsia, obviously. Ooh, kind of matches the shirt I'm wearing. Um, a light, pretty, pretty pale pink. And then this one's kind of like a corally tangerine color. And I think I only have like a meter of each of these. So they would be perfect for something like this where you're throwing in accents, I think they would just be great. So I need to find something to match with them, right? I have this matching light pink 
that has these florals on them. I think that would go pretty nicely with this one. I also have these two linens that I dyed. I have a pic video for this, but I think they would go well too with the, with the light pink. That one would look nice. And then that one would look nice too, I think. Um, they might even look nice with like one of these colors. So with the tangerine. Ooh, I like this. I like this combo a lot. So that's cute. Um, and then with, and then with the fuchsia. So if you guys have a preference, let me know. This kind of looks nice with the light pink. So that is an option for that top. I also have this linen I could use with one of the eyelets. So there's a few different options. I also have this eyelet that I think would go good with any of those fabrics. You know, with, you know, with one of these pinks or something, it would look really pretty as well. And I also have this. So this, I don't know, it's like some sort of polyester, but it's, it's a vertical <sighs> repeating stripe kind of thing. So I don't know what I'm, this was another Value Village find. Actually, the, all those eyelets were too. So I'm not sure if this would work out for that pattern. I would probably run it this way. Um, and then it would like do a cool thing with the bat wing. So that's an option. I have a lot of this. So again, like it'd be maybe more beneficial to use it for a dress or something like that. But lots of options. I just don't know what I would choose if I were to do the flora blouse. I really, I really like that. And if I could recreate the one that's on there, the white, the ivory, I would do that in a heartbeat because it is so pretty. Okay, another top pattern from Mood is the daisy top. And this one is, I mean, it's kind of similar in that it has this accent fabric, unexpected fabric. It uses mesh this time. It's got this beautiful V that I don't even know like how to explain. It's like an off the shoulder V. So beautiful. They used fringe. I probably wouldn't use fringe. I do love it, but I just don't have any. Um, I also don't have mesh. Well, I probably do have some power mesh, but it wouldn't be enough. I would probably go again with the same eyelets, that kind of combination if I were to choose this top. And this one has like a longer short sleeve, so I would definitely shorten that up. I do not like when they come down, well, really even past here. I like my short sleeves to be short. And this one is also up to a 50 and a half, 58 and a half inch bust. All right, next up is the Savannah Shacket. So I've kind of been off the Shacket train. I, not that I'm against them. I just, that oversized look is something that I love, but I feel like it looks better on other people. And then when I try to wear something like that, I just look frumpy. So I think I would make it a little bit more fitted, almost like a actual flannel shirt, button up shirt. And then I just wear it open. So I might even like, you know, not, it wouldn't maybe even do up in the center, but it would fit in the shoulders and everywhere else and still be really nice. I think this pattern would be great to try that out. And I think I would not use such a thick fabric. I think they're using, they're using something really thick here, probably a wool, but I would use this fabric here that I got, I think also through the Value Village thing. Yeah, I did. So it's like a, it's a red and navy with a white, with a white, with a yellow, <laughs> line running through it and it's a plaid and I think I would have enough to do the shacket and I've kind of been had this in the back of my mind all winter and I never did do it so I think now I think spring would be a good time because I can like wear it instead of like a sweater or a jacket or something like that obviously shacket so I think it would be I think it would be really good and this is potentially a top contender for what I'm actually gonna make uh, but you know there's probably gonna be more than one thing that I make so let's be real and the Savannah shacket goes up to a 59 and a half inch bust and it features a collar and these front pockets I don't know if I would do the front pockets they would just be for looks and in terms of looks they might you know add more here than I need them to okay moving on to the peplum top from peppermint magazines this is a basic woven tank top with a peplum bottom super super cute I do not know what format the mood fabric patterns come in because I couldn't get them to download so hopefully you know if I do choose one of these patterns I can get it to download and then see you know I mean I'm sure it would definitely come with a printable like a um, a letter file and then I could PDF stitch it and that, but hopefully it comes with an AO as well. So this peplum is available in up to a 51 and a half inch bust. As for fabrics, what do I choose? I've shown you some really great options that I might use, you know, because it's not a lot of fabric. So something like these, I only have one yard of, it might be enough to make this. It would just depend on the peplum if there's enough width there. 
I also have this solid green linen type fabric that is uh, really nice and soft and I would consider making it out of this. I don't have very much green in my closet and I think this would be really nice spring top. I also have this fabric, which I think is sheets or was sheets. I think I'm, I'm probably gonna do a camp style shirt with this, but it is a contender for the peplum because it's nice and breezy. I'm just worried about it being kind of see-through. And I also have a little remnant of this poly cotton chambray from Minerva Fabrics. I think it would be enough to make the peplum. And I think this is something that will get a lot of wear because it goes with everything. Another idea I had for the peplum top is this. So this was, I think this is my great grandma's house coat. It was in like a stuff, a box of dress up stuff that my mom gave us. And I think there would be enough fabric here to make a tank top out of, which would be really cool. And I think the florals are, you know, they're in my color palette, color palette. I think they're really springy and fun. So I'm thinking this would be really good. And um, I don't know, like I, I'm, I'm really tempted to, to do this. Okay, two more top patterns to get through. So stick with me here. Next up is the Ash Pin Tuck Camisole from Fabric Store. Dot com fabric-store.com this one's available in up to a 56 inch bust however it only offers letter and a4 printing so we would have to pdf stitch and then put it into inkscape and do all the things to get it to project but it might be worth it for these pin tucks and this placket and these little they look like um like bias binding straps tiny little spaghetti straps i don't know it's just really really cute i don't know if i would do the waist tie or not it just seems like another thing to deal with i like simple but uh, I could always make it and then take it off after if that was the case or you know put it on after whatever as for fabrics for pin tucks like I feel like I would want to do a solid fabric to let it shine so I think I would probably go with the poly cotton chambray that I just showed you or or something like this um, like a linen these are just a little bit heavy I think for what I would want but this or the green would be a good option I think for the pin tuck cami. I also think this fabric might be good for the pin tucks. I just am worried that they would get lost in there and, and it wouldn't really let either the pattern or, nor this fabric shine. And finally, also from fabrics-store.com is the Taylor Linen Swing Blouse. So this is a super cute look, very, I would say, on trend, modern kind of thing where we're seeing the buttons in the back, really, really pretty, but also like a nod to vintage as well. And then it has the peplum and it's looser fitting. I don't know, it's just so cute. Three quarter length sleeve, which again, I'm not sure I would do that or if I would do maybe a cap sleeve or something like that. This one comes in up to a 56 inch bust and there's a lot of, I guess detail but not detail, um, things that you would want to highlight, like maybe the back button placket. So I think again, I would probably go with a solid for this. So maybe something like this pink, um, I think this is a linen blend. It's a little bit more drapey than the other ones I was showing you. Even again, the green that I was showing you. So yeah, I th I'm thinking one of those fabrics would probably be good for the Taylor Linen Swing Blouse. Thanks for sticking with me. Now I have three, three patterns to show you, two jumpsuits and one dress, because I know you guys are looking for this, and they are all from fabric-store.com. The first is the Luna Camisole Sundress. It goes up to a 56 inch bust and 58 inch hip. I think this is just like the quintessential sundress. It's got the spaghetti straps, a nice fitted bodice with a side zip and then a gathered skirt. So breezy, effortless, chic. And I have what I think is the perfect fabric for this. This I picked up on FabCycle and it's a very drapey, I don't know if it's like a linen slub kind of thing. Um, or maybe a viscose, a heavier viscose, but I think it would be great for a, a sundress. It would be really, really pretty for that. So we will see if that comes to fruition. There's also the Eleandra elastic waist jumpsuit. This one's a bit looser fitting and then it cinches in at that elastic. It's got a grown on sleeve, a nice V-neck with that goes into a button placket. The leg is a little bit looser, kind of like a straight leg, but then it tapers in at the end. And this is also available up to a 56 inch bust and 58 inch hip. 
I would also use this fabric for that. I think it would be a very country club look. So I think that's probably what I would go with. Uh, just a nice, casual, comfortable jumpsuit to throw on for running errands, going out for supper, that kind of thing. And finally, we have the Sloan Fitted Jumpsuit. This one goes up to a 56 inch bust and 56 inch hip. It's more fitted than the Alejandra, and it ha it also has the button placket, but it has a collar on it, and it's like I said, more fitted, and the leg is a cropped, it looks like. It was hard to get a picture of like the bottom. I had to, you know, do some searching and that, but, but I have been wanting to use this fabric for something like a jumpsuit since I got it. It was part of that Value Village thing I was telling you about, and I think it would be perfect. I really do, as long as there's enough fabric. I might have to do some alterations, but I think it, I think I could probably squeeze it out of here. Wouldn't that be so fun? I feel like it'd be a lot, but it'd also be super fun. So, and the vertical stripe would be like elongating and it'd be my entire body. And I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. It's like mostly pink. It's got some pretty green in there, a little bit of orange. I just think it would be so fun. So make sure you check out the rest of the contributors for this kind of challenge on YouTube here. And I think it's a great way to find new accounts. I found a couple that I didn't know about. One was even here in Canada and I was like, what? How was I not following you yet, Megan? But anyway, now I am. I hope I gave you some inspiration on patterns to find and maybe some new sources for free patterns. There's also like most pattern companies have free patterns offered. So just go to your favorite pattern company shop and they should have a tab for free patterns or search by lowest price, so like Ellie and Mac, Hey June, Helen's Closet we already talked about, Love Notions, like they've all got free patterns that you can choose from. And almost anything you're looking for, you can find a free pattern for. And if you're good at pattern hacking and pattern adjustments, you pretty much could never spend money on a pattern in your life. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video. If you are new here, I hope you hit that subscribe button so I can see you in my next video. I upload most Thursdays with all kinds of sewing content. I'm also over on Instagram and I share quite a bit there. So all that will be linked down in the description box if you want to find me over there too. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!